Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Yaka Zaman. We are going through Mullah Ali Qari's 40 hadith. Right, so let's move on to the next hadith then. So hadith number 26. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alayhi sahbihi jama'in. Wa an Imran ibn Hussein radiyallahu anhu annahu marra ala qari in yaqra'u thumma sa'ala. Fastarja'a thumma qal, sami'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul, man qara'a al-Qur'ana fal yas'ali Allah bihi. فَإِنَّهُ سَيَجِيءُ أَقْوَامٌ يَقْرَأُونَ الْقُرْآنَ يَسْأَلُونَ بِهِ النَّاسِ رواه الترمذي وقال حديث حسن Imran bin Hussain رضي الله عنه passed by reciting passed by a man reciting the Quran and then begging he said to Allah we belong and to him is our return then he said I heard the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم saying whoever recites the Quran let him ask from Allah by it because there will come a people who will recite the Quran and beg from the people by it, related by at tirmidhi who said it's a sound hadith. Right, so this is the hadith that we have. So let's have a look at this hadith then. So as we've been mentioning in the previous hadith as well, the importance of reciting the Quran for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Imran bin Hussein is a famous companion of the Prophet sallallahu So he's walking one day and he sees this man and there's this man is reciting the Quran and he is begging people to give him money. Just like sometimes you go into the markets and you might see someone maybe singing or something or and he has a box there and people are throwing money into the box. So he was doing this. And so Imran bin Hussein, when he heard this, he said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. This is a statement that we say when a calamity befalls us. When someone passes away and we hear about it, we say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. So Imran bin Hussein was shocked at uh, you know, what was happening, what he was seeing. So because of this, what happened? Imran bin Hussein, he was reminded about the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he came and he taught the people the Qur'an sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He taught people the Qur'an without taking any money for it. This was a duty of the Prophet ﷺ without taking any money for the Qur'an. And he told the people as well. He told the people that people should not read the Qur'an and make money from it. So a person who recites the Qur'an should read the Qur'an for free of charge. Yeah, so reading the Qur'an should be done free of charge without taking any money. A person who takes money like this individual, who Imran bin Hussein saw taking the money, he remembered the words of the Prophet ﷺ about people who will be reciting the Quran to make money from it. And the Prophet ﷺ, he mentioned something about the end of days. So the Prophet ﷺ, in the early era, the people in the early era who lived in the time of the Prophet ﷺ were people that were very sincere, people that had very good actions, pious people. And as time went by slowly, times began to change. So the Prophet ﷺ, he would tell us about things that will happen in the future. Sometimes he'll tell us about maybe some uh, events that will take place, individuals that will appear. And one of the things he told us about is people who will be reciting the Quran to make money. And he disliked this action because this action seems to go against what Islam is about, which is, that everyone has the opportunity to listen to what Allah is saying in the Quran. So now the question that is raised over here is, what happens to those people who um, who teach the Quran and make money? Is that permissible? Is it not allowed? So the scholars have a difference of opin opinion about this. Um, let's turn on the piece of paper. So some of the scholars are on the opinion. They say that the it, this is permissible because the recitation of the Qur'an is not allowed, but teaching is different. So they differentiate between reading the Qur'an and teaching the Qur'an. Teaching requires effort, and so you're charging people for the effort that you put into, just like a person wakes up in the morning and makes an effort to go to work. The money is actually in exchange for the effort. And many of the other scholars were still saying no. So one group of scholars, they said, you're allowed to charge if you are teaching the Qur'an. And there was another group of scholars who actually said, nope, you cannot charge for reading the Qur'an nor teaching the Qur'an.
And they said the government has to provide all the scholars, all the teachers with a fund. So in their days, what would happen is anyone who was a teacher of the Quran and was qualified, they would receive from the government. So the government would give them money and that would suffice them. So they wouldn't have to charge people for teaching uh, the Quran to them. So they included both of these when it came to this. They said both of these are not permissible. However, the problem arose later on when the government stopped supporting the teachers. Governments would not give teachers Quran. So then if there is a person who has a house and who has a you know, a family and has to go and earn for the family to feed the family, then this person would obviously not be able to teach the Quran, would have to go and get a a job, a full-time job in order for them to do that. So the scholars then said, okay, the rule now, the rule for this situation would be that any act of worship, you're not allowed to charge for it. So Quran is worship. So Quran and prayer, salat and adhan, giving the adhan, all these things you cannot no payment for these unless there is a fear that these will disappear in the world, that people will be too busy in other things and not be able to give time for this. So unless there is a dire need, in that case, the people that they gave a, a, a ruling which allowed for such people to be able to focus their time on teaching this and they receive money not for teaching the Quran, but for the time that they could have given for working. Yeah, so the time that they could have given for working, they're actually charging people for the time itself. Okay, and this is how we understand the words of the Prophet. ﷺ. So the Prophet ﷺ was saying that if you want anything, you ask Allah. You read the Quran and you ask Allah to give you, and Allah will give. And as for the end of time that there will come a people who will use the Quran as a means of earning for themselves and will have you know other possible meanings of earnings but these people will simply just read the Quran to people and make money from this so this is what the Prophet ﷺ was warning us about the importance of being sincere when it comes to the teachings of Islam so Jazakumullah Khair I hope you guys benefit from that um, if you have any questions or any anything else any suggestions uh, put them in the comments and I will see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jazakumullah khair for watching this video. I hope to see all of you guys. If you guys are interested, please leave us feedback. Get in contact with us. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jazakumullah khair guys for all of your support. Without your support, I wouldn't have been able to produce the videos that I've put up on my YouTube channel and there is so much more that I really want to do and without the support of you guys who are patrons generously supporting this channel I've been able to get myself a camera which as you guys can see the quality of this camera a mic system software I've been able to hire an editor so what do I want to do I want to make lots and lots and lots of more videos for beginners for intermediate advanced in the subjects like Arabic and Fiqh and Hadith and Tafsir and Aqidah and all those other things as well. And for this to happen, again, this channel needs support. So if you guys want to become patrons and support this channel, then check out the link below. Also, if you do become patrons, you'll have access to videos that I don't put up on my normal YouTube channel. So check that out, inshallah. And there's most other perks as well that you guys can uh, benefit from. And if you want to um, access... Uh, this channel through social media we've got twitter we've got instagram facebook page and other things as well that you can visit so jazakumullah khair again guys thank you very much for your support assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh